Africa Connect 3 has a vision. A vision to connect Africa to a world of vast knowledge through high-speed, reliable connectivity. A vision to connect Africa to a world of unique solutions through digital technologies. A vision to connect Africa to a world of unlimited opportunities and possibilities through research and education collaborations. A vision that will translate into new treatments for diseases, app solutions to environmental problems, creating and openly sharing knowledge, train staff for high performance, employable skills for the job market, digital inclusiveness and participation, a generation of innovative solution providers. Africa Connect 3 is a shared vision, a shared commitment, a shared action, and a shared impact. At the end of 2019, following the success of previous projects, UMID Connect, Africa Connect, and Africa Connect 2, Africa's three regional research and education network organizations, the Bhutu Alliance in Eastern and Southern Africa, the West and Central African Research and Education Network, and the Arab States Research and Education Network, in partnership with the Pan-European Network organization, Jayant, signed a 37.5 million euro contract with the European Union for successor project, Africa Connect 3, to extend regional research and education networks and continue to provide high-speed internet connectivity and services to national research and education networks, also known as NRENs, and their communities across Africa. Mostly publicly funded, NRENs, such as the Ghanaian Academic and Research Network, provide dedicated, uncongested internet connectivity and value-added services for knowledge institutions in their country, such as universities, research centers, and libraries. NRENs are typically connected to a regional counterpart, such as WACRN, which in turn is linked to global research and education networks across the globe via its interconnection with Géant. This facilitates collaborative research and innovative learning worldwide. NRENs and connected institutions benefit from being part of a learning and sharing community with knowledge transfer, skill development, and a joined up response in times of crisis, such as the COVID-19 pandemic. There are over 120 NRENs worldwide, 38 of which are in Africa. Between 2011 and 2014, the EU co-funded Africa Connect project helped establish the Ubuntu Net Backbone, a regional gateway for collaborative research and education in Eastern and Southern Africa, operated by the regional research and education network, Ubuntu Net Alliance. In 2015, the successor project, Africa Connect 2, supported the creation, development, and use of high capacity internet networks for research and development, adopting a pan-African approach, including the two other regions, West and Central Africa and North Africa, alongside Eastern and Southern Africa. As a result of Africa Connect and Africa Connect 2, 19 countries are currently connected to the three regional research and education networks in Africa. With the increased support of its project partners to deliver results in each region, Africa Connect 3 seeks to consolidate the results of previous projects and unlock the potential of education and research and enhancing human capital development in Africa by improving access to digital infrastructures and technologies. Since the start of Africa Connect, we have enabled scientists to quickly monitor and notify asthma sufferers of sandstorms in Egypt, enhanced academic services and equipped Uganda's youth with tools to unleash their entrepreneurial skills, provided remote training and knowledge exchanges to strengthen geoinformatics expertise to sustainable development in Kenya, connected students and staff at Tanzanian universities and enable collaboration with sister institutes around the world. Accelerated data intensive modeling and mapping to monitor soil degradation and to develop sustainable land management in Zambia opened up career opportunities for women in STEM across Africa. Tunisia and Morocco rejoined the international r and &E networking community. The African partners have empowered NRINs through capacity building, knowledge sharing, and participation in regional and international fellowship programs, connecting 6.2 million researchers and students in North Africa, 3.5 million in Eastern and Southern Africa, and over 400,000 in Ghana and Nigeria. 
In addition, 300 women were trained in ICT for development thanks to the Women in Walk Run Initiative. Since 2011, bandwidth prices have increased by 94% in Zambia and 60% in Somalia. And finally, Walk Run is leading a new initiative, LipSense, aimed at establishing frameworks for scholarly communication and research infrastructures. Yes, Walk Run is uh, very pleased and uh, fortunate to be a beneficiary of the Africa Connect3 project funded by the European Commission. Uh, Walk Run was already beneficiary of Africa Connect2 and this allowed us to start deploying our backbone with uh, a link from Lagos to London where we peered with Jayon but also uh, by interconnecting uh, our first members, uh, namely uh, Ghana, Nigeria, and Togo. Uh, we are right now in the process of uh, connecting four more countries, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Benin. On the Africa Connect 3, our target is to connect six more countries. And at the end of the project, we think that we will cover something like about 700 higher education institutions with about 5 million users. Uh, we do also uh, think that Africa Connect3 will allow us to consolidate what we have started doing in terms of services by deploying more services or strengthening the services we are uh, offering right now. We are thinking of, of course, video conference services, edu room platforms, identity provider services, cybersecurity, and also something that is very important, a wide range of capacity building uh, opportunities for our members. We do also hope that uh, our LipSense initiative uh, that we are leading in collaboration with uh, the Ubuntu Alliance and uh, ASRE uh, will be strengthened uh, by involving more and more librarians and library services uh, to our NREN uh, community. And last but not least, uh, we also do hope that uh, our Women in Wakran initiative will be strengthened by bringing more and more women into ICT and science in general. Thank you. Let me begin by introducing to you the Géon vision. Our vision is that our world is facing many huge societal challenges and the current Corona crisis is one of them. And we can only resolve these crises if all the researchers in the world work together and cooperate. And to do that, we need research networks. And to train people to do that, we need education networks. And Géant is committed to supporting research and education networks all over the world, and especially, of course, in Africa. Through, we do this through our long-standing relationship with the Ubuntu Net Alliance, with WACRAN, and with ASRAN. And we deliver connectivity and services such as EduRome at universities. Our gratitude goes to the European Commission, who allows us to be a partner in this project and who funds it through their regional EU projects. We are also grateful to our partners for the trust they put in us. And we are delighted to go into a third phase for Africa Connect. Africa Connect 3 will greatly improve the access throughout Africa for education and research. It will connect Africa to the world and the world through Africa. Jean's role will be to coordinate the project overall and to do the procurement part. And there's a new role for us, which we are very excited about, which is advocacy. Therefore, I'm really looking forward to see the results of this project. And I thank you for your attention. Building on the success of Africa Connect 1 and 2, the Ubuntu Net Alliance will leverage the opportunities in Africa Connect 3 to help support AfriGeos and GME sites to connect to affordable and high speed internet services that are being offered by NRENs in their countries. Africa Connect 3 will also create more opportunities to train more university campuses and NREN engineers, as well as facilitate NREN staff exchange visits to enhance the sharing of knowledge and best practices within the region. Under Africa Connect3, the UbuntuNet Alliance will hold annual sessions for women at our UbuntuNet Connect conferences over the next four years and also support 
the Women in Research and Education Networks, Hackafest, and Libsense initiatives that are organized by WACREN. Thanks to AfroConnect3, our NN members will continue to participate in the giant emerging NN program, which increases networking opportunities for our researchers and engineers. In terms of research and education services, AfroConnect3 will allow the Ubuntu Net Alliance to set up its own cloud-based e-infrastructure for open science, as well as adopt a rapid deployment of services and tools for research and education networking. The Ubuntu Net Alliance is grateful to the European Union for making these opportunities possible through the funding of this flagship project. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thanks. We will coordinate with the European uh, Commission and project partners uh, to make the best of the Africa Connect 3 opportunity. We will continue developing our network and services that we provide to our community, and we will develop our own cloud strategy and deploy cloud services to our communities in consultation with Giant and the Europe, European Indian partners. We will promote open science and open access uh, in the region and we will make use, use of the European Open Science Cloud and uh, we will also coordinate with the African Open Science Platform. We will continue to the coordination with libraries and support them in the creation of a regional platform that qualify and connect existing data repositories. We will focus on engagement with user communities uh, to better utilize the infrastructure provided by EC3 including large communities uh, that work at the continental level like GEMA South Africa, African Group on Earth Observation, Pan-African University. We will also coordinate under the leadership of our sister uh, regional networks, Continent Alliance and WACRIN, on capacity building, women empowerment, African training initiative, advocacy, and security. Thank you. Thank you from the Africa Connect 3 partners.